Okay, so midway through cleaning the bike, see, one side done, one side not, one side nearly done, um, I couldn't turn the wheel, I freed it off a little bit, but you can see, hopefully you can see the pistons right out, and there's next to no lining on the brake pads, so I'm going to strip it down and see what happens see how bad it is so i've loosened this off which is a 10 mil at the back and then there's a 14 mil at the front which is holding it all together and then there's an allen key in there or is it there it is which is Five mil by the looks of it. I don't think it's six again. No, so that's five mil. So I'll undo that first while the caliper's still in position. Because it's a lot easier doing it that way than when the caliper's off. Let's take that pin. Right out. And then we should be able to lift the caliper free and leave the brake pads in position. That's pretty. That's pretty rotten as well. There we go. So that's a single pot. And now pretty well welded on there. I want some brake cleaner. Go out that with some brake cleaner and a toothbrush and see if I can clean a lot of that piston off and then try and put it back in. Will I get any more out? Yeah. So it's moving. There's no leakage or anything. So I'll get a toothbrush and some brake cleaner. And give that a good clean up. And then push it back in. Make sure it works. And then get some more pads. Right. Hopefully. It's not seized. Just in there. Uh, just around that edge there. Just around there. And there. You can see the dust seals coming out. There's no leakage from it as such. Um, but yeah, new brake pads and a seal kit. Hopefully, it won't be as much of a nightmare as the front ones were. Okay, from the garden into the shed. Finally got the bits I need to rebuild the caliper. And so far I've taken off the seat, as you can see. I've removed the bolt here. Here, there's a clip that pops in there and a clip that pops up there, in there somewhere. And I've just wedged it out with a bit of wood so I can get to the um, reservoir. The bolt, as you can probably see, it's absolutely filthy. They were rot. And I tried this one, one attempt with an ordinary screwdriver. I haven't got any of the JIS screwdrivers, which are the ones you need to use on these um, Japanese bikes. So I tried a normal Phillips on there and it didn't want to go. So I've used my impact driver and just give it a quick tap. And as you can see, that's 
that's just enough to knock them out because as you knock it down so it twists and breaks the seal between the screw and the top of the reservoir and it's all undone i don't need that anymore um, also i've taken the end can off to allow me even more access i'm going to put a bit of black sack over that so hopefully if it does leak i've got a clamp on there but whether it's tight enough to actually stop the fluid flow i don't know but there'll still be a re residual amount in the pipe there i think the piston's out far enough that it's going to fall out from there where's my brake thing yeah i think the the piston's out far enough that it'll come out by its by its self now he says obviously it doesn't want to move so i think i'll release that clamp and go the messy route of there you go let's see if that moves now just pump it out a couple of bits you can see that look at the white oxidization in there it's been like it a while there's a little bit of movement now I'll give it a bit i don't want to pop it while the hydraulics are still on there but if i've got it i've got it it's going to come off so it's a thursday evening I've just found out my I'm gonna to have to pop it all the way. Just found out my oh there you go, there's the my hydraulic seal's definitely gone. Right, let's take that off. Put the clamp back on. Hopefully save some of the mess. Okay. That's that off. Now let's get that back off. We'll start pissing fluid everywhere. That out of the way. That off of there. Now. just wind that around there and then it'll be a bit higher up and out the way so oh dip all the fluid everywhere like a deck had coming out at a bit of an angle that won't help Yeah, this is what I need. This is what I need. Let's get the soft hammer. See if I can even that up a little bit. Oh, well, there we go. So. Pistons looking good. That's the main thing. They're really expensive. If you ever, if you ever feel like grabbing one of these with your pliers just to pull it out and not worry about the bits in it, if it doesn't seal again, the pistons are bloody expensive. Whereas the seal kit, yeah, that is not the right shape. <laughs> Let's get. A Pick. So there's a load of crap in that first lip there. Can you, can you dig it? Well, you'll have to dig it, you'll have to dig it out. There you go. 
loads of it. Loads of it. Horrifying. So I'll get the other seal out. There you go. Which yeah, it's got some got some gravelly bits around it, but yeah, there's even greenery in there. <laughs> Even some greenery in there. <laughs> Plant life in your back caliper, you really don't want that. It's not conducive to the best brake performance. Um, don't need that. Don't need that anymore. Shouldn't need that anymore. Right. So, beer, you need beer. Oh, blimey, yeah, we need beer. So what I use to clean the detritus out, or debris, or plant life, or all the shit that's in there, is, anyway, so, rim, dremel, dremel, rim, Okay, new battery. Right, new battery. Right, there's a bit, a bit around the edge that's. There's been a bit of a dick. The actual inner edge is looking good where your actual hydraulic seal goes, but obviously you don't want, you don't want dirt getting past the seal at the top and then upsetting your uh, hydraulic seal. Okay, I think the Dremel works over. I'm going to get the airline on that. Let's take all these bits out of the way. Definitely need a bigger shed. Definitely. More beer. Thanks. Mmm, definitely more beer. Right, yeah, I'll get the Dremel put away. And then come back. Uh, blow that out with the airline. Yeah. Blow that out with the airline, probably not Thomas Cook. Um, and then clean off this towel, ready for a rebuild. Right. Okay, so that's all blown out. I've uh, got the new seal kit, which is Zuki part number 69102-05880. If you need to know. So, oh, there we go. So we've got the little one, little one at the top, which was the mullered one. So put a bit of fluid on that. He says, I want the bottom one first, don't we? Asshole. Oh, do you remember when bags just used to break rather than stretch? And it's symmetrical. I believe the actual um, groove that it goes into in there actually is sort of chamfered so it holds the bottom edge you can't see it but you, you could feel it if you was here you could feel it five pound an hour um it just chamfers that bottom edge out a bit so it grips better so that's in let's get 
put a bit more of a coating around it. That's in and on and dusted. Now we can put the top one in. So, nicely in. One thing I did forget to do was clean the piston. Right, it's nice and clean. There is a few divots in it, to be honest. Quite uniformly, there's like a dot there. Dot there. Dot there, a few scratches. It does look like someone's grabbed this out with some pliers at one point. Top edge is chewed up a little bit. But it's all I've got at the moment, so if it doesn't seal, I'll have to get another piston. But hopefully it will. I'll give the piston a once more. Right. That's that sorted. Gonna put a bit more fluid around there. And put a little bit down the sides of the piston itself and then nice and square should just slide in there beautifully it's these things here getting in the bloody way all the time I don't like to complain but bloody hell they do get in the way I'm trying to put that in on the piss there we go marvellous Right, that's that kitty in there. So, we need to get that back on the bike. New washers. Uh, well, it's copper washers. Right, back to the bike. Oh, hang on, let's give that a bit of a clean. Nice. All right, it's beautiful. Right, to the bike. Right, I'm gonna put some fresh copper washers on the Union. <laughs> Walk about. So that's on there, that wants to go in there. When I say it wants to, it doesn't know that it wants to, but it does want to. Right, well, there's, a, there's a little V at the back of the caliper just just in there and the pipe work sits in that that should be enough then We can take the pipe off. Uh, sorry, the pipe clamp off. 
Something like that. And then we want Oh, the dust cap come off, that'll help. There you go. Now I want a 8 mil spanner. So, I've got EBC double H sintered brakes. Code FA419HH. To go back in. These sit in you sit in these There's a clip there, and the bottom edge sits in. Bottom edge sits in down the bottom there, and then the top edge goes underneath this top clip bit here. So. Something like that, and just lift the top of the Clip out of the way, and then that is those in. I hope. All right, we'll give that another quick wipe. Because the caliper is pushed or pulled across, the piston pushes out, which pushes this pad onto the disc, which in turn pulls the whole caliper this way, which pulls the other caliper, the other um, brake pad on. And this is what it pivots backwards and forwards on. So they want cleaning and greasing. Well, I think they want cleaning and greasing. It's up to you, it's your bloody bike. Do what you want. Let's do that back. And then I want some 14. You just line the pads and pin up. Remember they're spring loaded, so you might have to push the caliper down and push the pads up to line it up. And same the other side. And then seat in its little hole the other side. And then we want an Allen key, which should be somewhere close. That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Oh, there it is. Is that it? Yay. Just wind that in there. In fact, I'm going to just put a bit of copper slip on the threads to try and stop that getting... seized in there. It was a bit of a tight... I want to get out, so better be safe than sorry. And all you want is all I do is 
tiny pinch and that's it okay so pins in that's pinched then you want this bolt here and again I'm gonna put a bit of grease on the shaft there And that's a 10 mil, 10 mil bolt to go in there. Oh, we'll just wipe off the excess grease before I get too far involved. That'll do. And again, doesn't have to be that tight. And that is the brake caliper back on, back together and sealed. Now I'm gonna pump it. And immediately you can see the pad going over. Slightest bit of pressure there right at the bottom. So it will need a little bit of a bleed. I didn't doubt that it would need a bit of a bleed, but hopefully the vast majority has come out on the gravity feed gravity bleed sorry not gravity feed okay so bottle bit of fluid pipe to the nipple bit of rag to hopefully he says trying to pull the pipe back off to hopefully catch any disastrous drips Stick some tissue in there as well, actually. It's a little bit more absorbent. Right, then, 8mm spanner. So, open the nipple, pedal right the way down, shut the nipple, pedal up proper old school and straight away there was a, a bubble in the tube and keep an eye on your reservoir level because you don't want that falling below the um, outlet pipe at the bottom of it so open push the brake down close brake up there you go massive bubble there so open brake down Close, I mean, up. Open, pedal down, close, up. Open, pedal down, close, pedal up. And just continue until you see no bubbles. I mean, you must be able to see a big bubble there. So, open, push some through, close, let go and as I say always keep an eye on that reservoir because if that falls below you'll start getting air in the pipe again you'll have to bleed the whole system so open push down close let up open push down close let up and I will just top that reservoir up a few little ones And it can be the tiniest of bubbles that will give you that spongy break. I had a nightmare bleeding the front brakes. <laughs> no, absolute nightmare. But that was a complete system. Okay, that's the reservoir topped up. I'm say keep going until you don't have any bubbles coming out. And you might get one or two pumps that don't give you any bubbles, but continue to do a few more pumps just in case there's a couple of bubbles behind it on their way down. The good thing about this is the whole system wanted fresh fluid anyway, because the fluid was black as anything. There you go. So I've had a couple of clear ones there and now I'm getting a few small bubbles coming out 
as I say, keep an eye on that reservoir. There you go, that was another clean one. And the next one out, load of bubbles. Right, check the reservoir, yeah, that's good. Just gonna try the pedal. Oh yeah, that's, that's getting a lot better. That's, um, that's pretty much there, actually. Three clear ones in a row. Get some brake fluid in there. Nearly let it run dry. It really is that easy to do. Because you're concentrating this end with the pump and the brakes and the actual reservoir is hidden behind the side panel. Alright, give that a whirl. Oh yeah, that's a tight pedal. Of course it's totally different pushing it down with your hand than it is actually sat on it because you know where, I mean that's pretty much straight on braking. Reservoir is okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now that is a solid pedal. So that is going to be good enough. Being it's on the back, I don't mind giving it a test run. And if it's terrible, then I can readjust, but there's been no bubbles for a little while there. Trying to get the pipe off without making too much of a mess. And there you go. One fully bled, new brake pads, new seals, restored, rebuilt, rear Takiko caliper on a 2008 Ayabusa. Right, just got to put the exhaust and everything back together. Okay, so your diaphragm wants pushing back in and pushing into the lid and then putting on And I do one side lightly and then one side a bit more and back the other side just to get a, an even pull down on the lid. Now I pull these rags out. There was a bit of spillage when I was topping up so I don't think brake fluid is as corrosive as it used to be, but it'll still fuck your paint up. <laughs> it'll still fuck with you. Fucking stuff. I'll just shove some of that in there just in case. Just if it has got anywhere. Hopefully it'll deaden the effects. I mean, this is a 2008 Hayabusa, but the swing arm's bubbling. It certainly isn't mint, and with me being the owner, I don't think it'll ever go back to being mint. Okay, so, just double check these. I haven't got the torque settings. I'm doing it what I feel is good enough. Is that the wrong size? That's the wrong size. That'll explain why it doesn't fit. So this one should fit. There you go. There you go. That's not tight tight. Oh, that's a fussing good pedal. Fussing good pedal. I don't know whether the wheel turns, but that's a fussing good pedal. 
Okay, that's all in there. I'll just double check that union. I'm not getting any leak. Drop that down there. I'm not getting any leakage from it, but I will just. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. Did I do the pin? Yeah, I did the pin. Okay, so that's back on. I have a pipe bracket to hold the hydraulic pipe up. Brake pipe up. Should I say? Should I say? I'll say it anyway. I'm going to put a bit of copper grease on that one. Because again, that was a bit, a bit of a bugger to get out. And that's it. Eight mil. That's on as tight as I want it. You can do it as tight as you want it. Because you'll be doing your bike. Or you won't be doing your bike. In which case, it don't matter, does it? So, exhaust back on. That's that kitty on. So all that's left is is to put this back together. That's all looking nice and dry. Take the wood out that I was wedging it open with. Can't actually see the level. But it is it's there. It's there, what am I worried about? So, we got a bolt in there. Clip under here. Oh, it's good having a camera in the way. Always helps. Like that, just want something to push the nipple in with. There you go. And then there's one in here. Why have I got one left over? <laughs> it's always the way. There's got to be another one underneath, isn't there? Okay, why have I got a spare one? <laughs> oh dear, let's do that up. Is that done up? Little cap to go in it. Hmm, got a spare clip. size key all right that's that done well I don't know where the extra clip goes so just get the seat on like that with an allen key of that size Like that. That's it, all back together. Excellent pedal. Excellent pedal. And a now gorgeous looking working back caliper. Marvellous. And a nice shiny piston. Anyway, that's enough. <laughs>